Okay, so yeah, I think uh, we started as a routine 3D scanning operation on a ASHI, turned into an instruction from a client with a failure into a four and a half month project, which culminated into a boom that was delivered um, in time. And if, if service is part of your, your DNA and part of your name, that's what you strive for. Um, so what then transpired is a couple of departments had to pull in, a couple of stakeholders had to be roped in. Um, all of that to, at the end of the day, not deliver a boom, but to deliver service to a client, a client that's very special to us, and a client that we would like to service again. It's the design. We started with a finite element analysis using the 3D scan to build a model of the existing structure prior, prior to failure. Then we did the design, uh, modified the design using new technologies compared to the old technologies that was used back in the day when it was originally designed. The new design, we took the fabricator into consideration, making ease of fabrication, minimizing the amount of welding. Um, we minimized the amount of welding from 3.2 kilometers to 2.6 kilometers worth of uh, welding. And the plate work as well, we, we had about 46 tons of plate work um, installed into the boom. Everything welded. Um, at the end of the day, we had a two millimeter tolerance on the entire 50 meter length. So this is a really strong achievement that we managed to achieve in a short amount of time. The 46 meter long, 52 ton, four and a half meter wide and high structure was transported from Van der Beel Park to Secunda over two days. When it came to site, we hooked it up to our cranes and from the time we started to redeem to have it fully installed mechanically, it was within three hours, which was a great achievement and well within our time. And and we ensured everything was done safely and to a T, and our client is extremely satisfied with our achievement.